Hello there and welcome back to part two of how to radio control a fine scale duchess. Before we actually go outside and do the setting up of the sound card and setting up the wheels, I have to put the transfers and the metal plates on. The first thing you need to do whenever you do any transfer work or putting name plates onto a locomotive is to do proper research. Get yourself good photographs of where everything should be. The transfers have all been pre-cut from the Fox transfer sheets. Uh, cleanliness is important so that's why they've all been put into a plastic holder. I will need a few tools to do the job. So I've got some earbuds, some tweezers, a, a scalpel, you'll see how I use this in a second. And here is a little tray with warm water in it and a touch of washing up liquid. The last accessory is a piece of tissue. The last thing you're going to need is a simple ordinary envelope with the ordinary lick type paste at the top. With a pair of scissors cut yourself a small piece, put it into the water, then come across to the cab side where you're going to put your letters, smear it. And in doing this we put some of the paste all over the area and this will fill up all the air spaces. With the pair of tweezers wet each number and lay them onto the cab. After a short while the transfers will be able to be slid across onto the loco. There goes the last one. Now a lot of people use rulers and all things like that, but I'm a great believer in the Mark I eyeball. If it looks right, it's going to be right. Well, that looks pretty much the same as what that there is. Now we're going to uh, dab away the excess glue, and this is done with the tissue, but the tissue has been made moist. Well, perhaps just damp. And we just sponge this away. And when that dries, it won't even need varnishing. It will never come away. According to the plans, there's an electrical danger flash just here, so we've got to attach the same one to our loco. Here's the little flash transfer. This time I'm just going to use the glue that's on the transfer to smudge the area. And slide the transfer across. And looking at the drawing carefully, it goes exactly between those two there. We also have to fit a similar flash on the front running board. All that remains now is for the power numbers to be fitted and these are very very small and you really do have to use some pretty delicate tools to do it. In order to extract the water that you don't need just use a an earbud. And these of course go above the central letter number of the serial number. As you can see as you dicker, the more you dicker the more problems you get sometimes. I particularly like the quality of the Fox transfers. There's no flash around the outsides of them anywhere. By the way, the lining, the superb lining on this locomotive, was done by Liz Marsden. The fitting of the tender decal is exactly the same. We just dip a bit of our envelope lip, smear some glue around the central area. So I've just dipped the transfer into the water. and We're just leaving it there to soak up its water. After a few minutes, the transfer should be free. Never rush it. And we can pl 
place it approximately where it's going to be, which is dead center over the wheels and dead center between the top and the bottom. Now because there's lots of fluid there, I can move it around. When you're happy with its position, take your damp cloth and soak up the liquid. Morning transfer on the back of the tender. And just take away the surplus water with a, an earbud. Now we've done one side of the logo, we've got to do the other. So there we have it. There's the other side done. All we've got to do now is put on these beautiful John Lithgow nameplates. They come nicely packed. And they're stuck to this piece of cardboard with some double-sided sellotape. But what's really nice is the Mr. Live Go shows you exactly where on the tender and on the smoke box and on the back of the tender where all these signs have got to go. Well, we're going to make a start on the tender by using John Lithgow's instructions and removing the little labels from the cards but you must remove the double-sided tape and then by using alcohol on a tip I just clean the end away and you've got to do that to everyone. So now we have our plans from Mr Ligo to show us where the plates are going to go on the tender inside surface. We've got the plates already pre-prepared now we've got to prepare the tender because we don't just stick them onto the paint. We've got to scratch the paint away and get down to the metal. Just how strong do you want your plates on? As strong as paint or as strong as bonded to metal? As it so happens, the positions of these plates are marked on the fine scale brass loco. So here we go, scratch through the paint to the metal to make a nice keyed surface in the three locations. Now we can't actually hang about here, so I'm just putting a little bit of the glue, and you need very little. And now using the end of an ordinary paintbrush, I wet it with a drop of spittle. Place it on the sign I want to transfer. Those signs are so beautifully crafted, you can even see them and read the words and you can see the size of my forefinger. Absolutely beautiful signs. On the back of the Duchess and Run Montrose signs, I have fitted some spacers and also on the back of the front number plate, I've done the same. And it's important that we get the edges blacked up just the edges, well they're going to show. This one isn't stuck here yet. It's been set at the exact distance that I've measured that it should be at. And to get things just right, we use a piece of masking tape, like this. Then we follow on and tape the whole sign off. And there's the completed work. The sign is not stuck on yet, you can see this is the part that's going to get stuck, but we have to scrape away this paint so that the metal will stick to metal. Gee, get this wrong, and you've really spoilt a model. But we must have a good key. So 
So here is the back of the Duchess sign with the bar with two part epoxy on it and you can see the cutouts where the boiler bands are. We drop it into place on the side of the loco. Now, you can probably see that the Masking tape has a number of functions. One, it makes the sign straight. If any glue gets spread, it goes onto the tape, not the body. And also the sign locates. It has a positive fix. So we're just going to leave that now for five minutes and then remove it. Well, five minutes have passed. The glue has gone off. So now we can carefully peel away the tape. And there we have it. The Duchess of Montrose sign. Completely straight and securely attached. You can see from above there is no shiny metal, there's no glue marks, everything's perfect. The final plates to go into place are of course the front number plate and the shed plate. And you know, we're finished. Well, it doesn't get much better than that.